What's going on, people? Welcome back. Matrix chilling here with the White Room, Cuban, Ice Cream, Legendary, Sponge, and Jeffy. Now, we're going to talk about the VGAs. All right, people. We already know the VGAs are relevant. But with all that said, everyone's going to watch it. And on Friday, or maybe even Saturday, all you're going to see is a flurry of videos talking about how it sucked, how it was great, how blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're going to give you our predictions. We're going to talk about what game should win and maybe some games that should have been in some of these categories because this list eh, is kind of iffy. So we're going to get this shit popping because we don't want to bore you with a long-ass fucking video. So here we go. Game of the year. Now the category eh, is lacking for me, but let's just go with it. Assassin's Creed 3, Dishonored, Journey, Mass Effect 3, and The Walking Dead game. Cuban. Let us know what you think. What's going oh. on there? All right, out of, out of all of those people you said, first I want to start off by saying, Journey, like, I know one guy on YouTube, he cried when he played that game, and I bought that game just to see if I would cry. <laughs> and that's not what happened at all. Like, you got to be some bisexual-ass guy to fucking cry to that shit. But anyways... <laughs> You have to be something to cry to that. But anyways, I think The Walking Dead should win. I don't know if it's going to, but I think it should because uh, games like Heavy Rain uh, were emotional and, you know, emotionally pulling. You know what I mean? And Walking Dead, The Walking Dead had that. It, it had that. I've been drinking a little bit. Excuse me. I just want to say sorry in advance. <laughs> All right, ice cream, what do you think? Um, I haven't played many of those games, you know, besides The Walking Dead. Just because I haven't been that interested in them and haven't heard too much good things about them. And like Cuban said, I mean, the story for The Walking Dead tugs on the strings of your heart, yo. I mean, they're like... I'm I'm not usually somebody who gets emotional over games, but my my eyes were welling up at the end of that game. Like that was that was, that was an emotional game. It was an amazing story. All right, so I, I would I, I would think that The Walking Dead would win, or I would want well, it to win. You would want it to win. Now we already know VGAs. They always fucking they go the other way. You never know. I, I, my prediction of what the VGA is gonna do is probably gonna be between Assassin's Creed Three and Dishonored. Um, the the studio of the year, I'm not going to get into that category because I think it's irrelevant. Uh, two studios that are in that category is 343 and Gearbox. Now, what doesn't make sense to me is that if they're studio of the year, how the hell is in Halo 4 and Borderlands 2 included yeah. in the game of the year, but the studio of the year is there. So I'm not even going to touch that category because for me, it's irrelevant. Um, Again, just predictions, and for uh, these 360 fans that are out there, uh, what game do you think is going to win uh, best game for the 360? Assassin's Creed 3, Borderlands 2, Dishonored, or Halo 4, Legendary? Borderlands 2, because all of the, all of the variety it brings, like all the, the hundreds and thousands, Hundreds of thousands of weapons it has. Hundred thousand the... weapons are in there. Yeah, that that. Okay. Has, that I know it does have a lot. Un... Yeah, it's unlimited weapons. Um, uh, it's just, and the, it it finally brings a story through in the Borderlands. Cause the first one, that's the only thing that that lacked. All right, Sponge, um, what do you think? Honestly, I think it's Halo. It should be Halo Four. Because Microsoft doesn't, you know, get a lot of exclusives, that's really their only exclusives in the entire list. And 360, I mean, they don't, they're lacking games, so I think the, it's most deserving for Halo 4, I think. And it's like the franchise of the Xbox. It's now, like the face of Xbox. Uh, this is a, a general question now. Do you guys think that games should have... Um, exclusive games only category for you know that specific yes. console. 
because there's a lot of yeah. third-party games here that are on both consoles and on PC and are included yeah. in the individual system game of the year. It doesn't I, I, make I kinda... sense for multiplayer to even be in that category. But... Yes, absolutely. It doesn't make sense. Yep. <coughs> All right, moving on, we're going to go into, okay, best PS3 game of the year. Right, we're going to go back to Assassin's Creed 3, Borderlands 2, Dishonored, and Journey. Jeffy. In my opinion, I think that uh, Borderlands 2 deserves that. Deserves, you know, the actual uh, award. And um, because I think it's a more fresher game in someone's mind right now, since, you know, it's almost at the end of the year. And, uh, you know, people are going to remember that game over, let's say, uh, journey which came out earlier in the year so it'll probably you know get the award for that night. now I know a lot of people not happy with journey or a lot of people haven't played it but the word of I'm mouth and from a lot of people that I know played it they say the game is absolutely amazing now I know Cuban didn't get that that uh, actual reaction from the game but again these are kind of our opinions but at the same time what we think the BGAs are gonna end up picking because, you know, like I said, some of these categories are a little iffy. There are a lot of games that should be in these categories, and unfortunately they're not. Uh, best Wii game, Wii U game, I'm not even going to touch because I think it's a category that's kind of unfair. We just came out, Point and a lot of these games that are out there, exactly, they're third-party games, and actually they're not even well done from what I said. PC game, we're not really going to touch because we don't have any real PC gamers in here. Let's go to Best Shooter, what we think you know, the VGAs are going to end up picking, and, you know, maybe what we are. Uh, so the best shooter is going to be Borderlands 2, Black Ops 2, Halo 4, Max Payne 3, Cuban. What do you think? Um, out of all those games you chose, huh? You know, I really did enjoy Max Payne 3 as far as uh, the shooting aspects of it. But overall, I would Agreed. say probably Black Ops 2, man. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's Call of Duty. You know what can you do about that? Well, you're gonna. This is this is what we think the BGAs or what the voters are gonna vote. So it's a popular game. I know everyone swears that it's casual and it probably is, but goddamn, it's always selling out and then breaking records left and right. So I would have to agree. Yeah. Probably Black Ops 2 would win. I would want Borderlands 2 to win, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, <clears throat> Sponge, what do you think is going to win that one? I think Call of Duty is going to win, but I mean, that, that's just—I just—I think that's just what it is, you know. It's like the popular game; it's the most popular game in America. So that's just—I think that's what it's going to be. All right, Even so though there's better games like maybe Borderlands, and but yeah. All right, well, let's move on to the next category. It's best action adventure game. And the category is going to have some interesting games. We got Assassin's Creed 3, Darksiders 2, Dishonored, and Sleeping Dogs. Legendary, what do you think? Um, I, I don't know one thing about Darksiders, so I'm not even going to get into that. Um, Sleeping Dogs and Assassin's Creed 3 will come down to because both of them, I heard both of them have great stories. I have both of them, I haven't really played too much of them. Um, but I think it'll go down to Assassin's Creed 3 just because of the name. I think so. Because of the name, the, the, time, the, the time it took place in, you know, American Revolution. And just, you know. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that Assassin's Creed 3 is going to be the popular pick for a lot of these categories that it's in. Ice Cream, what do you think? Can I just say one thing is uh, Dishonored's in way too many categories. Um, and uh, <laughs> besides that, I think Assassin's Creed 3 is probably going to win just because it's more, more well, well known than Sleeping Dogs. And I mean, I've played both of them and I haven't beat Assassin's Creed 3. But Assassin, from what I've heard, the ending wasn't, you know, the greatest. It was yeah. somewhat lackluster. And then for me, Sleeping Dogs, as far as an action-adventure game, it got the action part down, but the adventure part, it, everything felt very clunky and 
it didn't really feel open like you know it, it it there were just a lot of areas you could see and you couldn't really access it and i didn't really like that I like your points all right let's move on to the best rpg of the year diablo 3 mass effect 3 uh torchlight 2 and uh xenoblade chronicles xenoblade, xenoblade. You know, Blade, Iron Jedi, uh, we'll go to Sponge now. Sponge, what do you think? Um, now, I, I know you haven't Mass played Effect. a lot of these games, but no, at I least haven't. what they're going to no. most I likely think, play. Honestly, I don't think Mass Effect should be on that list because I don't think it's that much. I think it's more of a third-person shooter more than it is an RPG. But I think Diablo 3 should, should win uh, best RPG because of its, you know, it's been so long since Diablo 2 and, you know, PC gamers were waiting so long for Diablo 3. I just think it would be necessary, you know, for Diablo 3 to win. Can, can I get it? Yeah, I think it would be fair. Can I get on this? Uh, Legendary, you want to get on this? Uh, yeah. We'll go to Jeffy. Jeffy, what do you think? <laughs> I'd like to agree with Sponge. You know, Diablo 3 was uh, highly anticipated by a lot of PC gamers and, um, you know, might deserve might deserve that win right there. I really want to get into it. Yes, you know, will win this because it is. You, you covered it all right there with that statement. It, you just let it know that yeah, you're basically you, you guys, speechless. Guys, we got it. You guys talk We're gonna move on to on. best multiplayer <laughs> game such an asshole. of the year. It's gonna be Borderlands 2, Black Ops 2, Guild Wars 2, and Halo 4. Cuban, what do you think? Best multiplayer game. Best multiplayer game, I would say Black Ops 2. You know, I did play Borderlands 2, and it was really, it was really addicting. I can't even lie about that. But as far as, you know, <laughs> longevity, I can play Black Ops more than I can Borderlands. Alright, ice cream? For me, I think Black Ops was going to win, but honestly, um, Halo, it's just, there's so much you can do in the multiplayer. The Forge, the custom games, it's just, the, it's just such a wide variety of things you can do with the multiplayer. So I would want Halo to win, but I think Black Ops would win. All right, good point. All right, let's move on. Let's try to keep this shit moving because, like I said, we don't want to bore you guys. We just want to go through a couple of the main topics. Let's go to best best team sports game of the year, which is going to be FIFA 13, Madden, 2K13, NBA 2K13, and NHL 2K13. We'll go to Legendary. FIFA 13 should win because it's so much improvements. You know, they have the new, the new, uh, informed matches, so say a team is good, is doing good, they're winning in real life, their overalls are better in the game. It's, um, they fix the impact engines, no more players flying up in the air, no more balls going out of the stadium, it fix all that. It's just an overall better team sports game than 2K13, Madden, and all, all those. Alright, Jeffy, what do you think? I personally think that uh, NBA 2K13 will win this um, just because I think Madden is, you know, the same game every year. NHL is an uh, unpopular sport. FIFA, yeah. if this award show, if this award show would be more worldwide than I don't think it is, it probably would the FIFA one because it's more popular than basketball. But um, I think NBA is this year is more fluid. Uh, character models are more, you know, they actually look like players. They're not, uh, you know, just a different. They're more fluid, smooth, you know, character models and all that. So I uh, think NBA 2K got it. All right, let's move on. Best driving game. Now this category, it's every year they kind of, for me, they screw it up. And for me, I think this is a two-horse race. This is gonna be Dirt Showdown. Formula F1 2012, Forza, and uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, right now, the only reason I picked this category to talk about is because we've been playing a lot of GT5 and uh, car racing games. I play so, Need for Speed. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you, Ice Cream, what do you think? Mm, you know, for the, for car games, the only game I have this, I, I've, I've 
played or wanted to play, actually didn't even really want to play, is uh, Need for Speed, and it really <laughs> surprised me because I, I I haven't really cared about Need for Speed games for a while, and, you know, this game got me back into it, and it's just like the spiritual predecessor, or not predecessor, spiritual uh, successor to um, to Burnout Paradise, and, and that's why I like it. It's just Burnout Paradise with licensed cars, so I would hope that it would win, and I I mean, I, I think it, it, it should win, I mean. You know, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting for me because I got like I said for me it's a two horse race is either Forza and showdown sucks. or uh, oh, yeah. most wanted. Okay. So I I don't know that could go either way, but I think my guess would probably be Forza only because the VGA is always doing some crazy shit that you don't even expect. It should be most likely most wanted, but I won't be surprised if Horizon uh, Forza. I would like Horizon. to make a thing prediction really quick. I think. Need for Speed would win, in a, should win in a landslide. That's my opinion, because I don't think Forza or Dirt, you know, I don't think they were that great this year. But I think Need for Speed should win. We are gonna a couple of few categories left, so we're gonna go best fighting game, Dead or Alive 5, uh, Persona 4, Street Fighter uh, X versus Tekken or whatever that shit is called. I always confuse that and Tekken Tag Team Tournament 2. God damn. Mm -hmm. All right, Jeffy, what do you think? A lot of us don't really play a lot of fighting games, but no, these, none of us know. do really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I'd go with the Tekken series because maybe I'm I'm a little more informed with the Tekken series than any other fighting game. I mean, I don't really play fighters, fighters, but I'd probably say uh, Tekken Tech. Right. Can you say better alive because of titties. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> you, you know, uh, you got to love dead or alive for the big tits and you know stuff like that. Moving All on. Right. We got two la two uh, categories left. Um, best DLC. Now this one is interesting to me right now. We already know we're moving towards that digital age, but some of the games on this category or some of this DLC is interesting. We got um, the Down Guard, the Elder Scrolls yeah. Skyrim DLC. We have the Leviathan oh, man, Max I'm Effect Three. Oh, me too. <laughs> Borderlands DLC and um, the Portal Two uh, DLC. Now, before Ice Cream lets it rip, I'm just going to have to say, <laughs> I don't understand how the hell this Skyrim DLC is in there. Bethesda has utterly fucking screwed the PS3 players for years. And yep. how this DLC has not been uh, available to PS3 players yet, and they cannot fucking figure out a way how to make this work on the PS3 is a travesty, and it shouldn't right. be in this category, but that's me. I'm sure Ice Cream's going to go around that line, so Ice Cream, what do you think? Fuck Bethesda. For, yeah, for me, yeah, fuck you, Bethesda. Fuck you in the ass, okay? I've been buying your games for years, and this is how you're going to do me? I mean... I understand you giving the games away, or not games away, DLC away late, you know, like how they did for Fallout, you know, signing contracts with Microsoft. That's all fine and dandy, you know, whatever you got to do to handle your business. But you can't tell me that you can't, that you don't know how to put these DLCs on a, con on a console. It's ridiculous. I mean, it, with, the pe with the stuff that people do in the modding community, it just blows my mind that the people that work for your company can't do this. You're just a fucking disgrace. And after that, I just got to say Borderlands 2 for the win. All right. Um, <laughs> um, All right, uh, we're going to move to the last category. Uh, to a win, just saying. Uh, okay, we're going to talk about best downloadable game. So we got Fez, Journey, Sound and Shapes, and The Walking Dead, Cuban. Oh man, The Walking Dead, easily by a landslide. It's fucking oh, ridiculous. That game was the best game I've ever played. That's yeah. not even. Uh, yeah. I know Ice Cream walking. agrees. Sponge. Hey, yeah, I don't even know. Walking, <laughs> walking Dead wins in a landslide. It's not even close. It's out of the ballpark. Hey, uh, it's it's I, I, Walking Dead wins, period. I have one question, though. One question. Why do they even include Sound Shapes and the other one when The Walking Dead and Journey? are already nominated for game of the year so what's the point of putting those two in if you already know they're going to lose like i said the problem with the vgas is they try to go with the popular opinion as far as 
what developers do and you know the casual fans if you really break this down a lot of games are being snubbed in a lot of these categories yeah, they are. and year after year you get many people here on YouTube complaining about the VGAs how they are relevant how it doesn't make sense but like I said yeah. everyone tunes in everybody watches and everybody makes videos right after so it is what it is anyway people we're gonna wrap this up these are our predictions hopefully we didn't bore you guys hey Leave your comment down below. Let us know what you think about the VGAs, what games you think are going to win in this category, and maybe what game you thought should have been in this uh, list and in this whole freaking, uh, I guess, this is basically a popularity contest. What game you think got snubbed that should have been in there and didn't make it? All right, people, we're signing out of the white room. Y'all already know the deal.